Hi, and welcome back to Focus Poetry with Miss Chavis. We're going to look at Band-Aids by Shel Silverstein once again. So yesterday we noticed that we had our, po our title and our poet. We had one stanza with 12 lines. And when we read it, we noticed that we had a whole lot of nouns. Notice this funny word right here, M, which is short for them. We said this is probably about a, a little kid that was playing with band-aids without somebody knowing. So let's go ahead and let me read it one more time, and then I'll have you read it with me. Ready? Band-aids by Shel Silverstein. I have a band-aid on my finger, one on my knee and one on my nose, one on my heel and two on my shoulder, three on my elbow and nine on my toes, two on my wrist and one on my ankle, and one on my chin and one on my thigh, four on my belly and five on my bottom, one on my forehead and one on my eye, one on my neck and in case I might need them, I have a box of 35 more. But oh, I do think it's sort of a pity. I don't have a cut or a sore. Okay, this time I want you to read it with me. Ready? Band-Aids by Shel Silverstein. I have a band-aid on my finger, one on my knee and one on my nose, one on my heel and two on my shoulder, three on my elbow and nine on my toes, two on my wrist and one on my ankle, one on my chin and one on my thigh, four on my belly and five on my bottom, one on my forehead and one on my eye one on my neck, and in case I might need them, I have a box of 35 more. But oh, I do think it's sort of a penny. I don't have a cut or a sore. <laughs> so yesterday after our visit, I started looking at all the nouns and I noticed there were a lot of cool things going on with these nouns. So I wanna look at these and help you decide Maybe have you help me decide which ones are singular and plural. Remember, singular means one, plural means two or more. So let's look at just the ones we underlined yesterday. So Band-Aid right here does not have an S on it. So I know that that's a singular noun. So this one's singular. Finger. I don't see an S, so that one has to be, you're right, singular. Knee, no S, singular. Nose, singular. Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if all of these are going to be singular. I don't know, let's see. Heel, that's singular. Shoulder is singular. Elbow is singular. Toes, uh-oh. There's an S. That S right there tells me that there is more than one. So this is a plural noun, meaning more than one. Two on my wrist, that's singular. One on my ankle, a singular. We gotta be careful because we saw one that was plural. We don't know when it's gonna sneak up again. Chin, that's singular because there's no S. Thigh, singular. Belly, singular. Bottom, singular. Forehead, singular. Eye, singular. Neck, singular. Box, singular. Cut, singular. Pity, singular. And sore, singular. Oh, we only had one plural noun in there. Hmm. That's quite interesting. And then I noticed something else. I noticed that on some of these words, there were some silent letters on these nouns. I wanna look and see if I see a silent K, a silent G, N, G would be silent, or a W, R, the W would be silent. So let's go through and let's look at those. And I'm gonna highlight them this time because some of these nouns are kind of tricky. So let's look. Do I have one that has a K in it? No. Oh, K 
K-N, right there. That K doesn't say a word. Listen to the word, knee. All I hear is the N. So that K is silent. Hmm. Nose, heel, shoulder, elbow, toes, wrist. Oh, look at that. W-R, right there. R wrist, R wrist. Do you hear the W? Me either. That's a silent W right there. Ankle, chin, thigh, belly, bottom, forehead, eye, neck, box, pity, cut, sore. No, I only had two that had some silent, silent letters, and usually the silent letter is that E, that tricky E that gets up at the end of the words and makes the vowel in front of it say its name. But in this case, we have them at the beginning. But be careful, you may see some of these silent letters. So usually you're gonna see a K N, like the word knee. G-N, you might see like the word gnat, which is one of those little pesky bugs that flies in front of me. W-R, I could see it in wrist, maybe wrong. Those are all silent letters. That first letter, the K, the G, and the R. Be careful in your reading because you might run across one of these. Let me know if you find one. Okay, so thank you very much for coming back today. We'll come back tomorrow, and I have a gig for you tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.